We got married on December 22nd of 2018 and we were sealed in the Philadelphia temple of our church and um, we had set the date with the temple before we were engaged. We, you know, within I think like two weeks of us dating, um, we started seriously talking about marriage. And he had asked when the soonest time it would be for me to, like for us to reasonably get married. And I said, well, if you're talking about soonest, then it would be like Christmas time. Cause my, all of my brothers were our, you know, already had flights to be home for Christmas. So we chose a date pretty soon um, because we wanted to make sure we got the right date with the temple and um, that my sister and my brother-in-law were able to get flights. So we, uh, we had everything set. I had even um, bought a wedding dress before we were actually engaged. Um, we moved really fast. So in our church, when you're married inside the temple, you are sealed for time and all eternity, which means um, that unlike a civil marriage, it is not till death do you part. We believe that our marriage will last um, after death and throughout eternity. And that through that sealing, any children that we have are then will be sealed to us and so they will be with us for eternity. On my wedding day, um, we had Lincoln sealed to us, and so I originally wanted my mom to be with me throughout the whole time, because who, you know, who doesn't want their mom when they're getting married? Um, and I was gonna have my sister Audra stay with Lincoln, however, Lincoln knows my mom. You know, my mom would watch him and, and is very close with him, and um, as much as Audra loves and adores him, he doesn't know her as well and I wanted him it was important to me for him to be comfortable and so I asked my mom if it would be okay if Audra is the one who kind of escorts me and she and my mom stay with Lincoln and make sure he's set and taken care of and and so she did and so she stayed with him in the nursery that they have there and helped get him ready my sister helped me get in my dress and everything when we were in there and and then she went with the rest of the guests and then I got to be with Adam and um, and Adam and I got to sit in the ceiling or, or in the celestial room together for a while while our guests were getting ready and um, um, when it was time we went into the ceiling room and they had all of our guests there and um, we they have an altar and we kneel at the altar and we, you know, well first um, the sealer kind of talks to you and gives you advice and um, talks about the importance of it, marriage and, and other things and kind of gives you some advice. And then the ceremony is performed and um, during the ceremony we're kneeling at, at an altar across from each other. and. Um, I made it through that fine, you know, it, I was just excited and I was happy and I don't remember a lot of what was said um, because it's just so much going on in my head. So after we were officially sealed and officially married, my mom left the room to go get Lincoln from the nursery and he came in and my mom was holding him and she brings him in and as soon as he enters the room I start crying I just couldn't keep it together and I think you know I kind of looked around and I saw a lot of tears in people's eyes then and so again Adam and I kneel and they um go to put Lincoln's hand on ours and he does not want to do that um, and my mom's trying her best to like kind of keep his hand there throughout the ceremony and he was not happy about it <laughs> but it was just everything I could have ever asked for and um So that was our wedding day um, after we took some pictures it was freezing cold outside 
I mean, it's December. But it was also, like, the wind was insane. Like, it was like a hurricane. Like, at some point, um, it was just me, Adam, and my girlfriend, Jen, who was taking our pictures. And, like, we, Adam and I were, like, literally struggling to walk against the wind. It was so strong. <laughs> it was crazy. And so we're a little wind whipped and crazy looking in our pictures, but she did a good job with what she had to work with. <laughs> but, and then we had a, um, open house at my mom's. I just wanted to, I, I wanted this wedding to kind of be about family. You know, to me it was about family, which is why I had Lincoln sealed to us on the same day. If we had the permission I would have had Maddie sealed to us that day like I just I wanted it to be more about our family coming together and I wanted it to kind of be small and intimate and just chill and not like this big to do so yeah so that is our love story so we started talking on September 6th did I say September 6th we were officially engaged November 4th and we were married on December 22nd. So, um, super fast, but um, I really felt good the whole time. And a lot of people were like, are you sure? Are you sure? And I had a lot of people tell me things that were, um, it's not really their place. Um, Adam and I knew that it was right, and Adam and I knew that, you know, and, and we both kind of just felt like if, when you know it's right, and you, you just, you, we just knew, and there's so many things that I loved about him, and, and I loved that he was a father, and that I got to see the way he parents. You know, typically, um, if you follow, like, the proper timeline, where you meet and you date and then you get married and then you have kids when you're in that like dating engaged right before you're married stage you often talk about things like finances and kids how many kids do you want what kind of parent do you want to be yada 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 and see if your viewpoints match your the person you're dating or engaged to however you don't really know how you're going to be a parent, how, how, what kind of parent you're going to be until you are a parent. You know, I like to say, you know, you're the best, you know, you're the world's greatest parent until you have kids. Because things are different once kids actually come and you're placed in the situation and you have the stress and the lack of sleep and all the other things that go with parenting. Um, it's often really hard to know how you're going to react in that situation. And so after Patrick passed away, I, I have Lincoln. I am a parent. I have a child and I, I understand the importance of it, of being a parent. And, um, and so it was great to see Adam in a parenting role already and seeing how he parents and knowing like, okay, our styles might be slightly different, but we can do it together. Like I can work with that. I can work with you on this. You know, I think we could be good partners on this. And so, and just having Lincoln made it 10 times more important to me um, to make sure that it was right, that I was doing it right and I was doing right by him. So that, um, thank you for listening and sitting through all this. Um, that is our love story. I, um, we are coming up on a year of marriage and life is really good and we've reached a lot of goals and made more goals and um, are excited for what life holds in front of us and you know it's a challenge and it's different and but it's fun and I love them so that's my side of the story maybe one day I'll be able to have Adam share his side and his thoughts on everything but Thank you guys for watching. If you like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Um, and please subscribe to this channel to see more of my videos. I post a lot of vlogs. So go ahead and subscribe to see more from me in the future. Okay, thanks. Bye.